morning. So you might be noticing that I am outside and not in my usual studio. And the biggest reason is that this particular combo takes up a lot of space. I travel a lot back and forth across the stage. So it seemed like outside was the better way to do it. And plus which I get to see all of this lovely fall foliage around me. Drex here from DrexFactor.com coming at you with a brand new intermediate poi combo. This is actually part of a longer piece that I've been working on with a friend over in the dance studio. And quite frankly, I just love this piece of it so much that I wanted to teach it to you guys too. Be sure to sign up for my notification squad by clicking on that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That way you know exactly when I drop a new video. To learn this month's combo, you're going to need to have four tricks under your belt. Just four, you ask? Well, yeah, so you're going to be learning a lot more stuff in the course of this too. But the four that I've done tutorials on that you should have underneath your belt are stalls, Uta stalls, windmills, and archer weave fountains. The rest we'll cover as we go. Now, you can find links to tutorials I've done on all these different tricks down in the description or up in the cards if you happen to be watching this on YouTube. I'm going to show you the full combo and then take you through it piece by piece. Before we dive in, I just want to take a moment to give a shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultrapoy for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can visit them all by following the links down in the description of this video. Okay, so there's two challenges for us to address here. The first one is that there's quite a lot of dance in here and quite a lot of moves that you may not be familiar with or just don't look like anything right off the bat. The second challenge that we have to work with is that this is the first thing I've written in quite some time that has real counts to it. So let's try and dive in and see what we can do with that, shall we? So the first thing that we're doing is a little bit of a reel here. If you're already familiar with a water mill where you're doing a split time same direction reel with your poi at your hips, or a windmill where you are doing a split time same direction reel with your arms up by your ears, then you already have the pieces of this. It's just a matter of one hand being down and the other hand being up. Other than that, it's exactly the same thing. So this first part of it involves putting that left hand behind your head while the right hand's in front. And as the left hand switches in front, the right hand goes behind, you switch from having your hands in this small position up near your ear and down by your hip into these large positions, into what I call a giant, where uh, basically I'm doing split time same direction reels with my full arms, right? Okay, so counts that we have on this one is just one, two, and we start the giant on three, yeah? But there is a twist on that giant, and that is that it takes us around into a jump called a toyjate. Now, um, the long and short of how this works is that I'm going to be traveling to stage left, and to do so, I'm going to first kick out my right foot, and then as the momentum of that takes me up in the air, I'm going to kick out my left foot before I can land, and finally come down right foot, left foot, yeah? So altogether, what that looks like is I kick right, left, I come down right, left, yeah? Now, um, to do that with the poi, it basically means that my right foot is going to be following my left poi around. So as I do that body tracer and come around, I kick right, left, yeah? Now, in order to uh, kind of... One way that you can practice this is actually not to do the jump at all and to instead come off of that point when the left hand is going around that you just walk in a circle with the poi in kind of an extension instead, yeah? So I do body tracer and I just walk around with it. And you know, quite frankly, if you're not comfortable with the jump, that's a great substitution instead. The counts are exactly the same. Cool, so our counts at this point are one, two, we take the jump on three, four, and then five, six is a windmill coming out of it. The windmill is necessary to eat up some of the momentum that we've built up from that jump, and it's immediately followed by a quick little one petal flower that we're doing with our right hand, yeah? So basically on 7-8, we're in split time, same direction here, and uh, I'm going to have my right hand sweep past my left in such a way that they both stay in split time, same direction, and the left is pointing in at me while the right hand is sweeping out towards the left like so. 
And there's some footwork that goes with this too. Uh, it's a little thing called a rondejean. And basically what you're trying to do is with your right foot here, you're going to draw a little circle in the ground in front of you. So think of your right hand and your right foot having similar motion here, both drawing a circle together. And that's on the seven, eight count, yeah? So altogether that first eight count winds up being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah? Okay, so next up we've got the archer we've found, and of course there's some footwork that goes with it. So let's talk through that right quick. Uh, basically, you're gonna be taking a forehand to do an archer weave where you're reaching your right hand underneath your left, and you're doing the archer weave fountain up and over until you get to this place where the left hand winds up under the right on four. So it's one, two, three, four, yeah? There's also footwork that goes with this, because of course there is. So footwork is you're gonna cross your left foot in front of your right on one, open on two, and then touch your left toe to your right ankle, three and four is back out, okay? So the whole thing together looks like this. We have one, two, three, and four. And then I'm gonna come out to stall on a five, yeah? That initial step is a little uncomfortable because it involves, as your right hand is crossing over underneath uh, your left armpit, your left foot is reaching in front too. Um, what you're gonna find actually is this puts you in kind of an unstable position and kind of forces you to take the momentum up and over, and that's okay. Awesome, now we finished up that archer weave fountain, and on the five, we're going to stall left poi up, right poi down, and I'm going to switch to having my right foot in front. Basically what I'm gonna do is after I have done my little walk here, I tap and I go across, and you'll notice that I have uh, crossed up my body once again, and there's a reason for that. I'm going to uncross it. So after the left hand has stalled up, I'm gonna bring right up, left down, and kind of untwist my body around to face away from the audience, yeah? Now from here, I'm gonna do it one more time, and I'm gonna have my left hand come down as my right hand goes up and over, out to uh, stage right here. Now the left hand is gonna continue sweeping around until it stalls down right next to the right hand, yeah? So that whole bit is gonna be five, six, seven, and eight. Just like that. Cool, now the next eight is gonna start off with a little bit of a shuffle. I'm going to step right, left, back, and as I'm doing that, I'm taking my poi from out of this place where they're kind of stalled down to stage right. I'm gonna turn them around once and stall up, and I'm gonna like uh, lower the level of my entire body as I do so. Now I'm gonna come out of that with my poi sweeping around in extensions, and that momentum is gonna take me up into another jump. Now that jump is gonna be an awful lot like that tour jeté that we played with before, but there's gonna be no turn involved in it. Basically what you're doing is you're kind of donkey kicking your right foot up to uh, help get you off the ground, and as soon as you're in the air, you kick up the left foot then as well. If I were to just do it without poi, it would be right left, come down right left, yeah? And you're kind of drifting backward on stage as you do it. Also, this is something that I got corrected on on Instagram by uh, another dancer who was watching this phrase when I posted it. And that is basically that uh, as you do this, you should also look up with your head to assist in the momentum. So think of it rather as being right left as being we go up with both and you'll get a little bit more hang time out of it and it also looks better, right? So all of that winds up being from the stop, one, two, Three, four, yeah? Okay, so for this last little bit right here, we're gonna take our two poi and we're gonna do a tuck turn. We're gonna do it away from the audience. That is, I'm facing the back of the room as I'm doing it. And of course, as I'm doing that, I'm gonna have to take my right foot with me out towards stage left, that is that way. It's gonna feel like I'm stepping out towards my right, but because I'm stepping away from the audience, it is actually stage left. Okay, so the final bit of this is that after I've landed here, I'm gonna pick up my left knee and I'm gonna do a little U to turn around to come back facing stage left. It's a 360 degree turn, right? Now, this is something that's really frequently done in the dance world where you're taking a vertical motion and transforming it into a horizontal motion, but it doesn't happen that often in the poi world. What I want you to be feeling here is that you're going up and over to around. And if you can feel those two moments connected together, you're gonna have some really cool moments that come out of it. Uh, and if they're kind of separate moments, you're not gonna get around that turn fast enough. And of course, our last thing is that we land on the seven, and then we're gonna have a moment where I pick up my left knee and scrunch into a tiny little ball on the eight, yeah? 
Okay, so here's that last eight count all put together. As I start over here from the side, I'm gonna do those stalls around one, two, the jump, three, four, I do the tuck turn, five, six, I do the pirouette, seven, and I crumple up, eight. And that's the whole phrase. Okay, so let's take the whole thing from the top, yeah? I'm gonna do body tracer, one, two, I jump, three, four, windmill, five, six, Ronda John, seven, eight, I go, one, two, three, four, I step out, five, six, seven, and eight. I shuffle back, one, two, kick out, three, four, I do the tuck turn, five, six, seven, and I crumple, eight. And that's the whole thing, good Lord. So I hope you guys enjoyed playing around with this one as much as I enjoyed writing it. If you could, head over to Instagram with your videos of this combo and post them with the hashtag DrexFactorPoi because I would love to see other people out there crushing this. Before I set you guys loose, I just want to put out a massive thank you to all of my wonderful supporters on Patreon. You guys are the reason that I'm able to keep on making these videos, so thank you so very, very much. If you would like to sign up to support the work that I do, please head on over to patreon.com slash DrexFactorPoi. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to help this channel grow and I will see you guys next time. Peace.